Okay, so the goal of this video is to help you to be able to locate the steepest and most gradual slopes on a topographic map uh, simply by examining the contour line. So no mathematics here at all. We're not even really dealing with numbers. What we want to do is just simply look at a map and tell where it is steep and where it is pretty flat. So here's a map that we can work with. Now, just a quick review, all of these squiggly lines, these are contour lines, and they're showing different elevations. So each line connects points of elevation above sea level. Um, so I notice on this map, the interval between lines is 20 meters. So that means as you go from one contour line to the next, the elevation changes by 20 meters. Um, I also see some index contours. These are the darker contour lines that are labeled. Um, and those elevations are shown 100, 200, 300 meters. So if I want to find on a map like this, where is it really steep? Where would I see a cliff or a really steep slope? What I'm looking for is an area where there's a big change in elevation. And if I want to see a big change in elevation, I'm looking for where there are a lot of contour lines that are close together. And so this is really the rule that we're going to follow. The closer together the contour lines, the steeper the slope. And of course, the opposite of that would also be true, is that when the contour lines are spread far apart, they're not tightly packed together, that's going to be a sign that we have a flatter slope. So in this particular map, an area like, say, this region shown in pink, those contour lines are really tightly packed together. And so that's going to represent an area that has a steep slope. It's got a big change in elevation, but over a short distance. Again, if we're looking for a flatter slope, maybe over here in blue, you'll notice the lines are loosely packed. They're, they're spread out. And so that's going to be a sign that we have a fairly flat area. So let's take a look at one more example of another topographic map here. Um, so again, if I want to find the steepest slope, I'm looking for where my contour lines are tightly packed or very close together. So like this region over here is probably going to be the steepest part or one of the steepest parts of this area. Whereas a flatter area might be this spot shown in blue. This is where the lines are a little bit more spread out. So just to sum up, the closer together the contour lines, the steeper the slope is going to be. Be sure to check our next video in which we're going to talk about determining the direction that streams are flowing. And don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube. Thanks.